now guys let's talk a bit here scala variables so in scala there are two types of variables or i would say uh, you know rather than variables uh, you can just declare your values in two different type all together one is val another is var so let us look at it if i say val x equal to let's say 3 what did it happen i just assigned a value basically i just assigned x the value of 3 did you see something happening here x takes in a value that's fine but see this we never specified the type we never specified the type here it automatically assumed that there is a type integer this is something different so uh, Satish and others uh, I was mentioning it yesterday as well that we are not going to tell you how exactly to assign the or how exactly to do a operation in a language no our entire objective up to these four module modules is to see how exactly Scala is going to behave differently from Java or from any of those you know uh, basic programming languages altogether right so this is first thing which you should observe so this is typically called type inference right this is typically called the type inference okay so the language has inferred type for itself okay so again now one more thing so val x equal to 3 that's fine now I try to assign x equal to 4. Now again I am trying to assign integer but it is not. It is not assigning the integer. Sure. Why? Because val right it is immutable that's fine that's fine but it's not just immutability part of it guys it is about even even your you know you will see that uh, even when I will say var it will also be an immutable kind of a thing but val is kind of your read only variables guys they are like your final in Java okay so in Java you assign something as final right and once it is done it's like a constant you cannot really change the value of it till the scope goes right so it is not really the immutability part Bejad and Barrows right this is not the immutability which we are talking about this is basically the val part of it wherein uh, it's a read only or you can just say that see this val is a read only it's similar to java final variables okay and once initialized vals cannot be reassigned so i was telling you right the entire approach is going to be do something on the screen and then come back okay guys clear right clear to everybody now now let me let me change it a bit okay let us take the very same example and do something else okay so now other point which I would like to do is keep the statement same now call it as var enter var x equal to 3 again so Bajad others I mean all all of you people who were saying immutability and other stuff do you see any difference right now there is absolutely no difference apart from where right whatever is inferred is the same in both of the cases isn't it so it is the same thing no difference at all right so type inference is there for the where as well exactly now only thing is of course you must be able to guess it what I am trying to do now you can assign the value right so the first difference is about val and var you have to be very care very careful about it okay and in fact as a practice in Scala we kind of uh, you know we suggest to go with vals rather than vars of course due to the reason of immutability and there are other aspects as well unless you have a, re a requirement wherein you have to change the value of, var, uh, of a variable again and again which typically happens in the iterations right you should not I mean you should avoid to go for vars okay this is kind of a it's not a, a hard and fast rule it's kind of one of the good practices altogether 
right so typically in most of those uh, you know those those um, codes which you will see right uh, you will typically be seeing uh, vals being used more rather than vars okay what is the difference between val and var uh, sumanth right now this is the difference val is kind of a constant now let me give you difference from the slides perspective right so val as you know it's all about immutability it's about it's kind of you know your uh, your your value cannot be changed at all it's about read read only part and it's about read only thing here oh, sorry it's like your read write variable altogether and it's like your non final basically like any other variable in java clear suman will val make significant difference in the terms of performance because of immutability not really in the terms of performance when it would come it's it's basically uh, so kalpana there is a different thing which is uh, followed in uh, you know scala or scala based uh, uh, you know uh, frameworks it's called uh, actors and all and they are like so they they also try to do concurrent access but when it comes to java world you typically have you know those concurrent uh, 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 data structures all together but here it is all dealt with the immutable uh, data structures wherein you avoid the uh, problem of uh, you know concurrent access to the same object all together so this is this has more to do from the concurrency access uh, sorry concurrency side of it rather than from the performance side of it okay so guys something new came up right now let us try to do something more on it okay so uh, where x is equal to 3 and when i said x equal to 4 good when i say x is equal to whatever 78 good now so this so of course it should happen as well because it's kind of a strongly typed language right i hope you remember so the type is inferred unlike java okay the type is infer inferred unlike java but once it is inferred it is assigned to the li lifetime of the variable this is the difference this scala allow type casting uh yes yes scala definitely allows type casting i will come to that part later i mean that that would be covered a bit later right so again as as i told at the very start the entire coverage is all about it's not about uh, what scala does it's about you already are the programmers from different backgrounds it is just that how exactly it does the things a bit different in ruby if i would be trying to do the same thing in ruby or even in python it would be a perfectly valid statement or perfectly valid operation altogether because they are dynamically typed language altogether okay so here it is dynamically inferred okay uh, but statically typed kind of a language okay once you have assigned a kind of type you are never going to change it up to the lifetime of the or up to the scope full scope of the variable altogether okay next right so this slide actually talks about whatever i just told even though we never declared the type scala inferred it so i'm um, these slides are only for the supporting purpose that yes whatever we told is there okay and if you just try to you know assign it it's basically so it's a scala is a stat statically type language altogether 